Hi, I'm Cynthia Schiller. Please like and subscribe. So these narcissists, it's really hard to understand the way that they love, um, how they find pleasure in life, uh, what they're drawn to. Uh, and we as uh, empathetic people love a totally different way than they do. Um, so the narcissist, their love comes from external sources. And we uh, have internal love. Um, so there's differences. That's why as we ruminate, um, it, we're, we're dealing with pain with inside us. And um, we're, we're trying to understand, we're trying to, you know, take accountability. That's why we're often trying to figure out what we did wrong or how we can fix it. Um, but the narcissist is different. They don't take accountability, so they don't want to fix it. Once they do that discard, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty much over with. Um, the narcissist, by their external uh, pleasure, um, is, is what they're thriving for. So if they see something that might be tempting or can fulfill their needs, that's where they go. We have an internal type love. Um, you know, we're loving another person. Uh, and, and a lot of times that, that makes us want to give. Um, and that's where that balance goes off since we are giving, but the narcissist, everything's external. So they have nothing to, I got Mark around me, uh, nothing really to, uh, give. They, they, they just need to take. And, um, so as we're going through this rumination, we are going through some pretty severe pain, um, because it's internal. What we're feeling is internal, the love that we had. Uh, we converted our, our thoughts and our feelings and put it inside our heart. Um, the narcissist, they, they, they missed a step along the way. They didn't put anything in their heart. Um, they took it for granted. Um, they just, you know, used it up and threw it out and they just knew that they could get more. And, and if not, they, they just pull from external sources. Um, we have something where we're pulling from within ourselves. Uh, that's why you feel this, um, uncomfortable feeling. I know I, I, I would get waves of like physical pain, um, because we're pulling from, from inside, uh, and, and, um, you know, uh, the narcissist will continue to just take things for granted. And that's why they're able to often not look back. Um, and if it gets confusing because everybody's different, everybody's circumstances are different. So some narcissists will, will hoover uh, back. Uh, they'll try to get back with you, uh, make amends, uh, promise to work things out. But that's when they see you as the perfect supply, uh, the easiest supply, um, the most readily available supply. It's, it's for their needs. Um, and they don't hurt. They just, I mean, they can hurt somewhat, but uh, it's a different kind of depth to it because they are just searching for anything in the uh, extremities. And we're internal when we're searching to heal our pain. So that's why they jump into new relationships so quickly is it's easily readily available. Um, true love for us is not just something that just happens overnight. It's something you build and believe in and trust in. Um, our whole world is turned upside down because it's internalized. Um, the damage was done to us. Uh, the narcissist, um, they're, the whole world is available to them. Um, and I think that's a really important thing to realize when, when we're hurting, uh, we're dealing with the pain that was caused to us. The narcissists, since they don't take accountability, they don't try to figure out what's wrong. Um, it's easier for them to just walk away. And if they can't find something uh, better or um, on the same par as what we are, um, that's when they'll hoover back. If, if they have to apologize, uh, they'll do it, but it's not heartfelt. It's for, they can't see anything in the extremities. So they go to what's safe, what they know would be there. Um, so as you go through your healing process, um, it is okay to cry. It is okay to grieve. You need to do that. There are five stages of grief. Um, try not to get caught in the cycle. I have a uh, video on the five stages of grief that might help you through this. But I just thought it was really interesting to understand um, that their balance is from the outside. Our balance is from the inside. 
And um, sometimes we latch on to people because they did abuse us. They're the ones that set us off balance, um, but they're not willing to take the time to undo what they did. Um, they just care about themselves. So what, what's the next supply? What's, what's easiest? So um, continue working on yourself, take care of yourself. And um, I, I had a, a video that I did yesterday on the extreme vulnerable narcissist. It's pretty intense, kind of scary. Um, but today, uh, the narcissist um, had borrowed 10 bucks uh, a couple of days ago, and he gave me 50 um, because I've helped that family out quite a bit um to, you know jumping their car or uh you know just they needed noodles because they were making spaghetti whatever it was i helped them with little things and i said to stay emotionally detached um and you have to like survive in a neighborhood with your neighbors and it's not that big of a deal to me um so this time uh you know uh the narcissist was really kind that was really really nice um but we got to think about the way they think for one thing uh he kind of wants to date me you know uh so is that like love bombing um it is appreciative um but be cautious on the narcissist appreciating us is it because they wanted to continue the things that you're doing for them you know uh so so it goes to the heart of the people um what really is their true intentions um because in these relationships uh you know hopefully we have a true love not uh you know oh you brought me flowers so you can use me like are, are you excited about that um you know um oh i love that necklace thank you you bought me a necklace so you can live here rent free um you know uh the conniving and and uh word salad and it's just unhealthy. It's just unhealthy, but it gets confusing when they do sweet things like here's $50. I borrowed 10. Uh, thank you for helping me out over the last two, three years. You know, um, that was really sweet, unexpected, but is it so they make sure that they don't lose their supply or free noodles every now and then or stuffing mix that they run out. Um, just be aware that even though they do nice things sometimes, um, be cautious on what the uh, true intent is. Are they just seeking supply? Are, are they trying to make sure supply continues? Or is it truly good hearted? You know, like me giving them noodles was just, I, I, I get it. I know things are, are tough. And, uh, you know, there's kids in the house, things like that. Um, and uh, I'm giving because I can be empathetic. I know what it's like and the narcissist a lot of times it's just to keep that supply going so just be aware of that please comment below one-on-ones are available and i will see you in the next video stay safe watch for those red flags and uh seriously though um if you stay emotionally detached or go no contact is the only way to deal with narcissists